mm-hmm. and how how amazing. I mean, I truly think that she had a hand in it. You know, I think she had a hand in the gifts. <clears throat> so I just I just want her to see that we're okay. Sandra Bullock is an American actress, film producer, TV producer, entrepreneur, and voice actor. She's the recipient of several accolades, including an Academy Award, three Critics' Choice Awards, a Golden Globe Award, and two Screen Actors Guild Awards. In 2010 and 2014, she was the highest paid actress in the world. Time Magazine included her in their list of 100 most influential people in the world in 2010. Then in 2015, she was named People's Most Beautiful Woman. The actress received a motion picture star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame at 6801 Hollywood Boulevard in Hollywood on March 24, 2005. And it was the process of filling out forms, filling out forms, being judged, being, you know, have, having sort of being in the spotlight, you know, about who you are as a human being. If you enjoy these videos, please remember to hit the like button as it does help us out a lot. And comment below who your favorite celebrity is that you'd love to see in an upcoming video. Her full name is Sandra Annette Bullock, but is also known as America's sweetheart, Sandy, and the girl next door. She was born July 26, 1964 in Arlington, Virginia, making her 57 at the time of this production. She stands at 1.71 meters or 5 feet 7 inches tall. Back in December 2000, the actress was in a private jet crash on a runway from which she and the two crew escaped uninjured. Pilot air and blizzard conditions were responsible. She's a public supporter of the American Red Cross and has donated $1 million to the organization at least five times. She donated $1 million to relief efforts in Haiti in 2010 following the Haiti earthquake. She was ranked number two on the Forbes list of the most powerful actresses in 2014. She was also honored with the Decade of Hotness Award by Spike Guy's Choice Awards in 2014. She was once engaged to Tate Donovan, they had met while filming Love Potion No. 9. The relationship lasted three years. Sandra has also dated football player Troy Aikman and actors Matthew McConaughey and Ryan Gosling. On July 16, 2005, she married motorcycle builder and Monster Garage host Jesse James. They had met when Sandra arranged for her 10-year-old godson to meet James as a Christmas present. On April 23, 2010, Sandra filed for divorce, which was finalized June 28, 2010. She announced during the same year that she had proceeded with plans to adopt a son born January 2010 in New Orleans, Louisiana. It's my kids. Everything yeah. is about them being okay, being in school, having what they need, their moments. I need to be there for every single moment that they have. And John Wilson Bullock, an Army employee and part-time voice coach from Birmingham, Alabama. Sandra's parents got married in Germany, and her maternal grandfather was a German rocket scientist from Nuremberg. The family later returned to Arlington. She has a younger sister named Jacine Bullock Prado. Jacine served as president of Bullock's production company, Fortis Films, Sandra was raised in Nuremberg and grew up speaking German. She had a Waldorf education. She also studied ballet and vocal arts as a child. Although Sandra maintains her American citizenship, she also applied for German citizenship back in 2009. The actress went to Washington Lee High School after graduating in 1982. She went to East Carolina University in Greenville, North Carolina. She received a BFA in drama in 1987. Sandra moved to Manhattan, New York, where she worked as a bartender, cocktail waitress, and coat checker while also auditioning for roles. At the same time, she was attending acting classes with Sanford Meisner. Sandra appeared in many student films and eventually landed a role in an off-Broadway play, No Time Flat. Director Alan J. Levi was impressed by her performance, and he offered her a part in the made-for-TV film Bionic Showdown, The Six Million Dollar Man and the Bionic Woman, which was released in 1989. In 1990, she starred in the NBC TV version of the film Working Girl. During the next few years, she was seen in Love Potion No. 9, The Thing Called Love, and Fire on the Amazon. She rose to early prominence in 1993 when she starred in Demolition Man. Her big breakthrough came in 1994 when she appeared in the smash hit blockbuster Speed. 
She went on to appear in several hit movies, including While You Were Sleeping, A Time to Kill, Miss Congeniality, and Two Weeks Notice. She starred in The Net in 1995, then won critical praise for her role in the 2005 film Crash. She voiced Scarlet Overkill in the animated film Minions in 2015. In February 2021, it was confirmed that Sandra will appear in the Sony action movie Bullet Train. I'm not, I, there's nothing, nothing out there. And, and I realized at that time, maybe he knew something. And when I think about it, it would have been around the time that Lila was born. In 2014, it was revealed that Sandra earned an astronomical paycheck for the film Gravity. Sandra was able to ink a deal that guaranteed her $20 million plus 15% of Gravity's gross box office receipts, as well as merchandise, TV deals, and DVD sales. To date, Sandra has earned north of $70 million from Gravity. That's enough to be one of the largest paychecks for a single acting role in Hollywood history. Sandra earned $500,000 for 1994 Speed. The following year, she earned $250,000 for The Net. This salary was negotiated prior to the massive success of Speed. Finally able to capitalize on her popularity, Sandra earned $8 million for 1996's A Time to Kill. She earned $10.5 million to reprise her role in Speed 2 Cruise Control. She made $20 million for The Blind Side, $15 million for Murder by Numbers, and $17.5 million for Miss Congeniality 2. Between 1994 and 2009 alone, she earned $150 million in salary. Thanks in large part to Gravity, she earned another $120 million between 2009 and 2019 in movie salaries alone. As an executive producer of the TV series George Lopez, she earned at least $10 million. She's also the founder of a production company called Fortis Films. Sandra has produced films like Miss Congeniality 2, Armed and Fabulous, and All About Steve. The total net worth of Sandra Bullock is $250 million. Sandra Bullock has one of the most impressive real estate portfolios of all Hollywood actors. She owns around 20 properties around the United States. In total, Sandra Bullock's real estate portfolio is worth conservatively $80 million. In 2019, she listed a three-acre property on an island in Georgia for $6.5 million, the property is actually nine contiguous properties that feature over 200 feet of beach frontage. She bought the properties in several transactions over 2001 and 2002 for a total of $4.5 million. In 2018, she sold a house in Los Angeles above the Sunset Strip that she bought for $1.5 million in 2011 for $2.9 million. Also in 2018, she paid $8.5 million for an oceanfront home in a Malibu-gated community. Two years later, she paid $5.3 million for another oceanfront property in the same community. She owns more than a dozen properties in Texas, mainly around Austin. Her primary residence is a mansion in Beverly Hills that she bought for $16.2 million in 2011. This property, which sits on 3.4 acres, is potentially worth $25 to $30 million. She owns two units in a nearby luxury tower and in March 2021 paid $2.7 million for a 2,800-square-foot nearby single-family home. Sandra owns a five-acre mountain retreat in Jackson Hole, Wyoming, a $4 million townhouse in Manhattan, and a $3 million Victorian mansion in New Orleans. Sandra Bullock owns the following cars, a Mercedes-Benz GL550, an Audi A6, a Lincoln Navigator, $1,000. 